Hi, I am Eleftheria and welcome to D3GS Tips, Tricks and Techniques by Pact Publishing. I work as an app developer and I'm freelancing as a content creator. I've been a developer and a designer for the last five years and I've been collaborating with Pact Pub for almost two years while this is the third course with them. I enjoy giving speeches at conferences all around the world and I like sharing my passions with the tech world. You can find me on my blog, on YouTube or on Twitter and the links are visible in your screen. In this course you will find out the best practices that you didn't even know existed, with which you can increase your efficiency and productivity while using D3GS for your daily tasks. In section 1, you are going to learn what is a bad visualization, chart junks and data ink ratio. You will get introduced to design integrity and we are going to find out the advantages and the benefits of good data visualization with the help of real-world examples. In section 2, we will talk about the different types of visualizations and how to pick the correct one according to your needs. In section 3, we will discuss the characteristics of effective graphical displays and we will see a lot of examples. We will talk about data and we will find out which type the human brain can understand easier. In section 4, we will start exploring one of the best libraries for visualizations, which is none other than D3GS. We will also see who developed D3 and why when and where you should be using it. In section 5 we will start creating our first shapes with SVG. We are going to learn what is a scalable vector graphic, how to use it and how it connects to D3GS. We will begin coding some simple shapes like rectangular and circles, whereas by the end of this course you will be able to draw complex, useful shapes according to your project's needs. Some of the things that we are going to see in section 6 are a line and an area chart. We will start from the basics and in the end you will going to have two functional charts. And last but not least, in the seventh section we are going to create a tree diagram. This is going to be different from the previous visualizations since we are going to be using paths and nodes. We will understand how to connect and update the data and how you can make an interactive, collapsible, horizontal or vertical tree diagram. As for the prerequisites, you will need a PC or a Mac. In some cases, if you want to follow along with me, you'll need internet connection and I'll be using Google Chrome. Quite a few times we will browse through the d3gs.org website. It is expected to have a basic programming experience, mostly in HTML, CSS and JavaScript, as it is also expected to know the basics of D3GS. But don't worry, we will cover everything together. You are also going to need a text editor, I'll be using Sublime, but you can use whatever you prefer, as long as it supports HTML, CSS and JavaScript. By the end of this course, you will learn what is data visualization and what you can do with it, how data visualizations can complement your work, how to work with different types of charts or diagrams according to your needs, how to acquire data and work efficiently in its project. You will understand SVG and create simple or complex shapes with it. You will also learn why, specifically D3, is the best data visualization library. You will learn how to code with D3 to keep your project clean and sustainable. You will learn D3's methods and functions and you will build step by step a line and an area chart using SVG. Last but not least, you will build also a horizontal collapsible tree diagram. Now that we know what lies ahead, let's jump right into the course. Thank you.